If you have the people, you should be given the work. If you have the people, you should be given the assignment. If you have the people, you should be given the appointment. That's how it works in the spiritual life. It's not seniority. It's not Reuben, Simeon, Le uh, uh, Levi, Judah. It is give this inheritance according to Numbers. According to Numbers. Say amen. Amen. Close to 2,500 participants in the hall and 15,000 online from at least 125 countries listen to this strong statement made by Pastor Theodore Andose, leader of the Christian Missionary Fellowship International, on the third day of his coordination meeting with Cameroon leaders. Pursuing his teaching on the importance of numbers, he explained in the light of God's instruction for the allotment of land among the tribes of Israel, as shown in Numbers 33 verse 54, that spiritual inheritance is according to numbers. He added that it is not appointment and strides from positions and titles, but numbers that determine the role each one plays in God's eternal purposes. In the same vein, the role each one will play in the spiritual leadership of our generation is tied down to numbers. When we come to the spiritual inheritance, it is not according to longevity, according to uh, duration of service, it is not according to uh, age and according to our gratitude respect for the elder, the elder person eats the largest piece of meat when it comes to spiritual inheritance. It is according to the number of people that you represent and that you have. So, in God's purposes, numbers are more determinant than seniority. Pastor Theodore seized this opportunity to present a tool of being disciple to disciple produced by the School of Knowing and Serving God on the first step of the Betwa message, namely, Deliverance from All Sins. This consists in a pack of three books. The textbook, Deliverance from Sin, by Professor Zachary Atani Fomu, the House Church Leader's Manual, and the House Church Member's Workbook. Sister Han Redenbarga, principal of the School of Knowing and Serving God, proposed that all provincial leaders gather all the locality leaders under their leadership in a retreat to work with this tool by reading the book and answering questions and discussing on them. Each locality leader would in turn gather all the house church leaders under him and do the same work so that by early March, all of us will start the work at the house church level. It is with great joy and grateful hearts that participants went for their lunch break before coming back for the presentation of reports during the evening session. For RTVC, I am Joe Bida.